His grace will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. constant intimate relationship in his presence i just want to be where you are once that becomes your own desire debbie says that 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 i may see your power i may see your power i may see your power i just want to be where you are i wish now why not personalize it tonight amen isaiah chapter 59 I want us to look at that scripture. God is come with power. God is come with glory. God is come to redeem you. God is come to save you. Who can stop your God? God is come to deliver your miracles into your hand. God is come to put your healings into your body. Who can stop your God? Help me ask your neighbor, who can stop my God? Isaiah chapter 59. Can we read verse 19 together? So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Why would they fear the name of the Lord? Because of the testimonies that shall be produced in your life. Yeah. Because of the hand of God that shall come upon you mightily for good because of the change that he shall bring into your life and when they see that testimony they shall fear the name of the lord because of the fact that they where the devil thought you were stopping was only becoming a beginning point said to somebody who can stop my god that girl who could not look at light and god healed last night is she here tonight is that girl here tonight she went to the bookshop after the service and was jumping and causing chaos there and was looking at light and testing herself again and 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 who could stop god from touching that eyes last night who could stop god where's that other lady who had that persistent one year old stomach something god disgraced last night is she around also is she here she's not around here praise god now you see if if the devil could not stop god from reaching them last night satan can't stop god from reaching you tonight yes. say to somebody who can stop my god can i hear you say that very loud who can stop my god he said they shall fear the name of the lord that, that, no matter what the gatherings of the enemies are they shall fear the name of the lord because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. When the righteous run under that name, he is saved, he is protected, he is kept, he is delivered. And that shall be your testimony from now on. Now look at why they are going to fear the name of the Lord. He said, for when the enemy shall... Are you in that scripture? Are you seeing that scripture? For when the enemy shall... What shall happen? Like a flood... The spirit of the Lord shall lift up what? A standard. That means Satan is coming in to try to destroy you. He's coming to destroy your health and destroy your family and destroy your business. And the spirit of the Lord is saying, stop there. He raises a standard against him. Why would they not fear the name of the Lord? <laughs> So wherever the enemy comes, whichever angle he comes, to try to harass you, intimidate you, spoil your future, spoil your engagement, spoil your marriage, spoil your life, the, the spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard against them tonight. Raising the standard signifies he's going to stop them dead, wherever they are. He's going, to, he's going to disarm them. He's going to stop their activities. The Bible says God will disappoint the devices 
of the wicked they will not be able to carry out their ministry in your life somebody shout who can stop my god say that very loud who can stop my god say that very loud who can stop my god because they cannot stop your god this year you shall shine because they cannot stop your god your story shall manifest because they cannot stop your god your ministry your ministry your vision shall come to pass because they cannot stop your god the promotion of god in your life shall come to pass whoever sits upon it shall be caught up with the fire of the holy ghost because they cannot stop your god any disease any devil any sickness any infection hiding anywhere in your body hoping to manifest later on they shall be consumed by the fire of the holy ghost they cannot stop who can stop my god can i hear somebody say that loud now let me hear say it again let me hear say it again as we begin to look at the power of the holy ghost you need to understand there are seven dimensions of the power of the omnipotence of the holy ghost that 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 the greek put forth to us and the time is coming for seven sundays we are going to be looking at the various dimensions of the power and the manifestation of the omnipotence of the holy spirit and when you come to that point that, that's the reason i'm taking time to show you the rudiment the foundation the personal intimacy with the holy spirit when you know him you can exercise his power praise god he is not a stick you can pick and just be the enemy with it no 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 no. he's a personality when you walk with him he walks through you amen can i hear somebody say he's going to walk through me because i will have a personal walk with him praise god now this dimension of the power of the holy ghost greek, the greek bible say calls it exosia i'm not teaching you uh, i'm not you're not in bible school here this night but i just want to bring out something exosia talks about the ability of god to perform without opposition i mean he's at work he say who can stop me isaiah chapter 43 that, that's the dimension of the power of the holy ghost that we're talking about now there was a time i talked about the dimension of the power of the holy ghost in creation and 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 and, and that that that's that's translated in greek in another dimension he said is is his ability does not need the raw material to create your miracle my god that means the legs that are short they can grow out that means the wombs that are missing they can be recreated that means the ovaries that are not there they can come in now it does not need the raw material from any doctor to create your miracle praise god now here we are looking at the dimension of his miracle tonight of his power his omnipotence that the greek language called exosia and that means when god begins to walk who can stop him satan couldn't stop the rest from parting he cannot stop you tonight amen. can i hear you shout a big amen here now amen. say who can stop my god isaiah chapter 43 are you there i want you to understand the scripture so well you are going to shout and scream you are going to go to bed and sleep like a baby because no devil can come and oppress you who can stop my god verse number 13 can we read it together indeed before the day was i am he before the day was in case these devils come early in the morning before the day was breaking god said i'm already there in case they come in the night there was no night be, be, except there was a day before the day was i am here let's yes, go ahead and there is no one who can deliver there is no one that can deliver out of my hand do you understand what god is saying he said i will squeeze life out of all your enemies i will squeeze life out of those diseases i will squeeze life they can it's, it's, it's oh my god so any devil that has troubled you before they are in trouble now Amen. you didn't know this before they, they could do what they did you didn't know but you know it now they are in trouble he said who can deliver them out of my hand that pharaoh could not be delivered when god began to pharaoh thought he was a god pharaoh thought his word was final and god said go and tell pharaoh moses he said when i'm done with him he will look stupid in his own eyes and pharaoh couldn't stop god his armies couldn't stop god and nothing is going to stop god tonight now who can stop my god can i hear somebody shout who can stop my god you are a man created to graduate and marry and get a job now no devil can stop you from getting your job no devil can stop you from settling down. you are a lady created to graduate and be married now no devil can stop you lift your hand and shout who can stop my god 
now when you graduate and get your certificate you ought to be working you are not to stay in papa's house mama's house eating food you ought to be working you ought to be working you ought to be who can stop your god from bringing to you what he has designed to bring to your life last night we look at the dimension of his power that gives when he gives who can take today we are looking at his dimension of his power that perform without opposition what are you talking about glory to god now ask your friend who can stop my god amen now doctors who look at your situation under the scan they say they'll say this is impossible that is doctor who can stop your god one woman was given only three months to die because they said the cancer had spread around her body and there was no chemotherapy that was going to help her upth they couldn't help her university of ibado couldn't help her that's some years back now in the 80s and there was this professor who was in charge of that department then I, 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 and, and this woman when the professor gave the verdict she said only three months woman he, only three months the woman collected the paper from professor and he got out of the office of professor step forward and came back he said professor i am coming back after six months to show you my testimony he said you gave me three months to leave i said professor i don't blame you that is what you saw but there's a god who cannot be stopped there's a god stronger than this cancer there's a god who can heal and heal me perfectly he said after six i'm going to wait three months after your verdict and come and show you myself here professor and she went back home and did all she would do with god somebody shout the problem with you is lack of power can i help that say to your friend let me say that very loud say one more time i said without the power of the holy ghost the devil will make a nonsense of you can i help say that very loud this woman went back and he went back and began to call down the glory of god call down the power of the holy ghost show god his word your word says if i serve you you will heal my body your word says you took this cause on the cross and you dissolved it i cannot carry the cause of cancer cancer you are a cause of the law and he said you spirit of cancer in the name of jesus i curse you and she stayed there for six months doing that and every day she was getting better every day she was getting stronger every day she was adding more weight every day things were beginning to happen she had not gone back for any check the six months she got up and went back to professor professor test me professor six months ago you told me three months i'll be dead now six months after god has kept me alive i have come test me professor ran every test again and looked and looked at the test and looked at her woman what happened she said my god happened your god will happen tonight 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 he said i am i am I am I was there before the day Isaiah chapter 43 verse number 13 please don't remove it from this screen until I'm done with that scripture amen and he said none that can deliver out of my hand those devils that oppress you in the night my friend tonight God will squeeze them out of your life shout very loud you are in trouble Satan you are in trouble sickness you are in trouble poverty you are in trouble lack of promotion you are in trouble joblessness you are in trouble singleness you are in trouble spirit of delay whatever the destruction is whatever the enemy that's trouble your life god said nobody will deliver them out of my hand say to somebody who can stop my god amen In the year 2008, a beautiful lady, she's a lecturer in invest, Salem University right now. She's actually the head of the Department of the Continuing Education. She went to Asaba to see her brother. Her brother had been in the hospital for, for operation, and he lacked blood. And each time they wanted to do operation, somehow the kidneys the strength of the kidney was not capable they said the kidney had shrunk it could not stand the operation he would die on the operation table and the woman said wait for me i'm coming and she came to asaba 
put her hand upon her brother i don't know if you know what power you carry my friend she didn't wait for her pastor she went by herself because she's been anointed she was a carrier of the holy ghost she is a temple of the living god she's a lecturer she's not a me a, a preacher a pastor now you carry power when you carry the holy ghost and he came to the hospital laid hand on her brother and listened to me by the next day the kidney had normalized and they performed the operation she was going back to lagos on onisha saba bridge she dozed as soon as she dozed she saw herself in a dream swallowing stones a hand was forcing stone down her throat she had just <clears throat> swallowed one and got up and he said blood of jesus blood of jesus and she took her anointing oil and drank he said whatever from any quarter that had been brought to afflict me you are dissolved amen all those you're eating in the spirit tonight they will eat the wrath of god when you are not spiritually fed your spirit is open to be fed by the devils and you know she got back to lagos and she began to cough and the cough was becoming so bad she couldn't sleep anymore and it came to a time she could not even lie down anymore they had to prop her up with seven pillows to be able to sit down she was gasping for breath they rushed her to a military hospital in lagos and after they had scanned and passed her through all manner of machine, they said, woman, see your result. Your intestine, your womb, everything is no more here. It has come to stay on your lungs. And they took her to UPT, I mean, uh, uh, Luth and they looked at her and said, woman, were you born like this? They gave it a very long name. Those names doctor give, they are to intimidate your face. Very long name. They call it all manner of names. And she asked them, if I was born like this, I wouldn't have delivered five children. If you were not born like this, say this kind of disease condition is one in a million. And they said, they had to open her heart on her chest and cut the diaphragm to pull down the intestine and the womb back to the stomach region. And they told her it's a complicated operation. They can't do it. He said, while you are on, on, the, on the table, if Nepal takes life for one second, you are dead. They said, go to University of Teaching Hospital Enugu. She went to University of Teaching Hospital Enugu. They gave her the same verdict. The professor said, woman, this is a complicated a case. Now, we can't try it here. If Nepal takes life for one second, you are dead. We can't try it here. They directed her to, to United Nations Cardiac Center in Ghana. And she came to my office in Lagos. Some of you, maybe the year 2008, I ran a whole four series of television interview with that woman after her miracle. Now hear this. Now, now when she came to the office, and, and we looked at the, and I asked her a question. Is this one bigger than your God also? She said, no, daddy, it's not. It's not. I said, you're on your way to Ghana. Yes, go. Go to Ghana. And, and she said, she asked me a question. I said, daddy, what if there is a Holy Ghost thunderous cough that forces everything back to I said, that's part of the miracle of God. But by, by, by all means, you will survive this. And she left for Ghana. Well, part of what she was supposed to bring to Ghana uh, the x-rays from Nigeria the scans from Nigeria and the doctor's report she carried all of them and submitted to the professor seven of them so eight eight professors surrounded her that morning getting ready to open her up and they said before we open you up looking at all the report that came from our colleagues in Nigeria let us do our final scan so we know which side we are going to open up and they did the final scan and the report of the scan came out and the eight professors she's lying on the couch they looked at the report from nigeria they looked at the report of their own news scan they looked at her are you dr mrs yes yes but these are all your scans from nigeria yes woman we don't know what happened but somehow all your intestine and the womb everything have come back to their positions Say to somebody who can stop my God. Can I help say to somebody who can stop my God? That means Satan can't stop him, nothing can stop him, 
and tonight his hand will reach you can i shout a big amen yeah. let's go back to isaiah chapter 43 again and look at what god is saying himself look at what god is saying himself amen can you read it very loud one two three read indeed before the day was i am he and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand i will walk and who will resume? let me help shout god says he will walk in my life no one can stop him he said i will walk and who shall let it who shall stop my walk in your life let me read this 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 very beautiful uh, 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 translation to you he said yes from the time of the first existence of the day and from this day forth i am he that's god speaking and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand he said i will walk and who shall hinder me i will walk and who shall reverse it that means if i cause you to be pregnant which devil is going to take the pregnancy away if i cause you to prosper who is going to reverse it and make you poor if i cause you to be blessed who is going to take away your blessing if I give you health, who is going to take away the health? If I make you, no, no, he said, I will walk. Who is going to reverse it? Say to somebody, who can stop my God? Amen. Amen. Job speaking in Job chapter 42, verse 2, he said, I know that thou canst do everything. How many things? How many things? And they say, and nothing, no thought can be withholding from thee. So even the, the, the plans of men against your life and destiny, God says, I know them before they even hatch them. Uh, they cannot carry it out. Every negative plan and thought against your life and destiny tonight is disannulled, yeah. is dissolved. Yeah. Wherever your name is mentioned for evil, from tonight, it is cancelled. Yeah. It is cancelled. Yeah every cost of man and cost of the devil against your life and destiny it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus amen another translation the living english translation says like this it said from eternity to eternity i am god it said no one can oppose what i do so it's not important how many places they are gathered it's not important whether it is the family shrine they gather and call your name he said no one somebody shout no one no human being no devils no powers no one can oppose what i do god is going to do a work in your life god is going to do a work in your womb god is going to do a work in your heart god is going to do a work in your body god is going to do a work in your eyes god is going to do a work in your ears god is going to do a work in your marriage god is going to do a work in your family god is going to do a work at work no one can stop him hallelujah hallelujah oh that's the same power that brought quails i don't know if if you know quails i think they call them bush fowl or something those guys are too smart when farmers are coming the little slightest shaking of leaves they've flown away inside forest quails are never found in the desert never in the wilderness but children of israel were in the wilderness it took the same power of the holy ghost that couldn't be opposed that couldn't be stopped to push quails from the desert and bring them to the wilderness and they were not only just in the wilderness can you imagine them these guys that can fly very high suddenly they lost power to fly they began to stumble on the floor and the children of israel were catching them with hands excuse me there's a miracle that's coming for you opportunities are opening before you it takes the power of the holy ghost and when these opportunities come nobody's going to see them you will see them you will see them when others are not see them listen quails quails don't 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 scramble on the floor Quails fly high and they go up there. They, fly, they run away. But suddenly, the power
power of the Holy Ghost removed power from their wings. And they just began to stumble on the floor. And the children of Israel could just come and catch them by hand. Listen to me. There are business opportunities that are coming to some people. From this week, you are going to connect them. You are going to connect them. Nobody is going to take what belongs to you. Say to somebody, I'm connecting them. Every door that has closed, they will open again. Say to seven people, every closed door is opening to me again. devils that have closed door they will be blind when god is opening the doors for you they don't understand what i'm talking about amen these things happen only when you are connected intimately with the holy spirit these are not testimonies of casual christians unfortunately there are many casual christians satan can still cheat them many casual christians the devil can still take away their blessings many many casual christian casual because they are casual with god god never gets urgent with them a uh, time comes you know he said to the children of israel he said when i beckon you didn't listen me listen he said a time will come when you pray and i will not answer you because they were too casual he said, you went to spark your own fire. He said, have you not caused this trouble for yourself? He said, because you have hewn unto yourself a cistern. A cistern that cannot hold water. He said, you neglected the fountain of the living water. Now, this is what, where the problem is. When people begin to neglect God, they are heading for trouble. When Satan catches them, God won't deliver them. He said, when they begin to neglect God, they are going into Satan's territory. When he catches them, they are on their own. Look at somebody say, stop backsliding now. Because when the devil catches you, you're on your own. Can I hear you say that very loud? But God said, as long as you are not entering to Satan's territory, you are walking in intimacy with the Holy Ghost. When I walk, who can stop me? Somebody lift your hand and say, God is at work in my life. Let me hear you say that very loud. In the days of wicked men, my friend, you will live gorgeously, gloriously. In the days when the world is getting more wicked, you will live triumphantly. Shout very loud, I will live triumphantly. Say that very loud. The secret is your intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The secret is your encounter, your daily connection, your daily contact, your daily intimacy, your daily walk with the Holy Ghost. John chapter number 15. The Spirit of God will put down this for every Christian that care to know if you are going to live triumphantly in your generation. If you are going to live with glorious and abiding testimony. Listen to me. Many years ago I was speaking to a young man. He had trusted one of his friends so much. And I said, don't bring yourself under a curse. He said, curse is the man who trusts in man. He said, at that position, nothing will take it from me my friend has worked it out for me already i said don't trust the man too much now i have not heard from your mouth your connection with the holy ghost everything you are saying is about man and just when the man was getting ready to fix him the man was unceremoniously removed and he came to my office <laughs> as i told you you were celebrating connection above god no man can lift you beyond his own level now. But God has no level. Amen. He's infinite. Why have you trusted men more than you are trusting God? Why are you serving men more than you are serving God? You trusted connection too much. Amen. About seven years ago, I came to one of the dioceses. And I just finished preaching Saturday morning. I moved to my office. And one of the men that God had helped us to raise, he was not in that city. I called him and told him what God was showing me. I said, you must meet me. I'm canceling my flight because your life is in danger. Drive from wherever you are. Meet me now in the office before I fly out of this city.
When you walk in the wisdom of God, you do not fail because God's wisdom doesn't fail. Wisdom helps you to do astonishing things. Wisdom gives insight and walks you through the path of excellence to embrace uncommon breakthrough. The book Wisdom for Triumph is a capsule of the exact. Dare to go for wisdom and knowledge also. This book will help you to distill profitable insights that will widen your sphere of understanding triumph. Wisdom for Triumph, one of the author's best-selling book is out. Log on to www.freshimpact.store to buy a copy for yourself now. Wisdom for Triumph. We believe that you were blessed by this message. For the continuation of this message, join us on all our social media platforms, same time, tomorrow. God bless you. As a voice of a patron, and I command that every edge, rough edge in your life to come polished.